Zen looking to bounce back from his round one loss against Rally and continue his regain. Oski actually looking to pick up his first win. He was reverse swept by Naupo in round one. He uh, oh, took the opening game against Vatira in round two and then lost that one 3-1 as well. Um, so yeah, Oski, after losing one game in a series today, has lost every other game uh, since then. As soon as he loses one, he loses three. Let's see if he can change his tune here, if he can get um, a win against the top seed in the group. I'm sure he's going to be excited at the prospect. Oh, that's one way to start. Double reset by Oski. <laughs> what an opening goal that is. And against Zen of all people. <laughs> Unbelievable. More of those, please. This could be a clip fest, ladies and gentlemen. We saw Zen really have to work hard for where he's at in the group right now. After 10 games played, he's five wins, five losses. One series win, one series loss. Is it going to be positive or negative for Zen when this one is done? Some of these dribbles that he's had today have been incredibly smooth, Zen. Sticking around for the shot here. 30 boost to his name. Zen shoots right at Oski there, probably not expecting a goal, but he knows that that's going to deny Oski the easy counter-attack. Oh, well played by Oski. Just completely controlling the distance. Zen, in an attempt to close the gap, just dove in while Oski could see him. And Zen might be thinking there that Oski's only got eyes for the ball and he's trying to think about timing his air dribble um, when the ball bounces. Because Zen knows Oski's a really aerial-focused player when it comes to offense. And I think Zen tried to like, lunge in at a time that would be unusual for a player who's about to start an air dribble. Yeah, Oski had the backup. You've always got to be ready with a shot, with a flick. When an early challenge comes your way, Oski was definitely ready for that one. Now, boost deal for Zen. He's looking for midfield space here. Not going to be an easy ball to control, but of course Zen controls it with ease. Flip reset is his, and the fake, and Oski saves it anyway. What a stop. That was a terrifying shot from Zen. Fluid in the setup and threatening with the finish. Oski with a flip reset the other way. It's off the post, out at the hands of Zen's clearing touch. These guys both pushing each other to the limit defensively. Zen fakes the back wall demo instead. Circles back around for a ceiling interception. Right next to Oski's goal. I mean, that's some high level possession play by Zen. Wants to fake the aerial play. Deciding to wait just a little bit longer before playing for the all-in move. Now here it comes from Zen, and it's a good one. Fake one way, shoots the other. Zen on the board inside the second minute. That is an unbelievably difficult aerial shot to read. It really looked from Oski's POV like Zen was going to shoot that to the top left corner before you know it. It's top right. Nice kick off here from Zen. Decides not to snatch out the tight angle open net. Instead, plays for the boost. The resets are looking very good for Zen. Double reset. Saved by Oski, but Zen's got the boost seal at the far side as well. Quick recycle of the play. Oski does not get fake though. He might have actually won the mid boost here. Yes, he has. What a stand by Oski against a couple of back to back Zen plays, including a mind game. He not only escapes without conceding, but also with possession for himself. Oski looking to outplay Zen with a surprising dodge in the midfield. I mean, Oski's won both of the game ones he's played today. Against the other two top seeds in the group. This group being seeded, of course, Zen, now Povetira, top three. Oski having to play against every top seed today is tough. And he's up 3-1 now against Zen. Zen's post-pinch save fails. Oski just barrels right through him in his own back corner. Got a couple of other um, internation battles here. Or national battles, I should say. We've got our Moroccan players going up against each other. Drali could go undefeated on the day by beating his fellow Moroccan Nas. And uh, Rawas CRK are also playing their second matchup of all time. The first was in Sage 1 of Salt Mine 3. TRK took it there. Rawas looking to get his revenge today. Zen keeping it simple in offense. I like the, the shot 
and flick focus offense from Zen today, showing that he doesn't need his aerial game to be popping off and outplaying everybody in order to be a successful attacking player. Big kick off for Oski. No chance for Zen to recover. And big Oscar goes up 4 2. Very, very strong hit there to force Zen back. If you could force a, a wave dash recovery player back like that, uh, they just simply have to wait longer before their recovery could land, before they can get that speed boost with the wave dash. This time it's Oski who's pushed backwards. A nice pinch will buy him plenty of time to even out the boost disadvantage. Zen air dribbling from distance, extremely efficient takeoff by Zen, the mind game as well, and the pop outplays Oski's recovery. Terrifying aerial mechanics by Zen. He had the threat for the high shot. Oski had that covered, but he couldn't cover low when Zen went back down to the ground. Uh, here comes Oski again. He's had a lot of success in this matchup, just like he has in all game ones today. That's a huge shot by Zen. Oh my goodness, he ripped it. Faster than Oski expected. Oski actually turned, showing respect to Zen's shot from this kind of range. Zen absolutely boomed it. Catches Oski in no man's land. Toxic's undefeated right now. Toxic playing against Khaled at the moment. Has any games come through there? Khaled beat Toxic. Did Khaled beat him in game one of Khaled? Imagine Khaled hands Toxic his first loss after he sweeps. Moxie and Rubas. I mean, nothing makes sense <laughs> in Group B today. Now Zen starting to make a little bit more sense. He's uh, got a 5-4 lead here. Oski overextending. Getting caught on the wrong side of the ball by Zen's long shot. Now he's down for the first time in the game. Oski loves a shot on target after the kickoff. Zen's got a little bit of boost to play with here, but Oski does not want to give him a 50-50. At least not a favorable one. Oski decides to shoot. Zen can only redirect it in his own top corner. Able to get a touch, but not much. Great call there from Oski. He knew Zen was playing with low boost, and that shot essentially says, I don't think you've got as much boost as you're acting like you do. Close game one, showing just how close and how stacked this tournament is. We're looking at the guy who's currently sixth place in group A up against Zen. And it's going down to the wire. Oski with a massive angled dribble approach. Shut down well by Zen. Oski will restart again, this time from his own back wall. And he's going for the full pitch air dribble here. Oski, no reset yet, no reset at all, but still able to get the ball past Zen. What a finish. Full pitch air dribble by Oski. Zen expected a reset. You can see him leaning forward there at the moment that he thought Oski would be going for a reset on the ball. Oski just went for more touches and he got that ball into the back of the net with no flip reset and no bounce on the ground. One goal difference goes the other way. Can Zen close it to back to a tie game with the ceiling shot? No, he can't. It's Oski getting bumped by Zen though. Not ideal. Dodges the follow-up bump. Zen's pre-jump, can't connect, it's Oski by two. Great dodge by Oski, he got bumped once, but reversed away from the follow-up. Zen having to work once again. This has been a real struggle for him today. He's played the maximum amount of games that you can play after two rounds. And if this series keeps going the way it is, I could easily see it going the distance as well. Zen, the only player who was forced to game five twice. Has Oski done enough here? Oh, he has, what a save. There's absolutely no way. Oh my goodness. What a save. That's a triple save by Oski. Zen gives him a compliment of the quick chat for that one. I think he deserves it. That is unreal. He bumped Zen into his own air dribble bump and then recovered twice to make scrambling saves. Once at one side of the goal, once at the other. What a stand by Oski to hold on to the lead in game one. And against the run of the game as well, field control and possession in favor of Zen. On the next rank post game stats, remember to sign up for the next rank.com if you want 15% off.
when the next rank drops later this year. Course made by myself and apparently Jack to help you guys get better at Rocket League. And in the meantime, before the course drops, you also get access to um, some unlisted videos that Jack and I have been recording about various Rocket League topics that I think uh, you guys, if you're into Rocket League esports, uh, will be right up your alley. Now, do we have any other results coming through here? Let's bring the blimp in and see um, if we've got any other confirmations. We're running a little bit uh, behind most of the other streams right now because we started this one late as well. Um, we've had all game fives today, so let's see. We've got 1-1 Naupo Vatira. That's a, that's a really interesting match. Of course, a bit of a grudge match there between Naupo Vatira. Naupo took game two in overtime to deny the, uh, Vatira the 2-0 lead. But good news that Naupo's got a, a, an Ethernet cable to play with there. And we're getting started with game three, but let me read uh, some other results to you guys while we kick uh, this one off. Um, yeah, Moxie 1-0 up on Atomic. Khaled hands Toxic his first loss of the day. So 1-0 there, Khaled against Toxic. Uh, I feel like every time, well, both times that we've had, oh, good goal by Oski to kick things off. Zen just cannot get comfortable in this matchup. Oski stole the boost away from him, then faked him out at close range. I was just going to briefly mention, Khaled... In both of the group draws that we've had so far, I've seen a bunch of people saying, why can't my, you know, Goat Khaled have an easy group for a change? I think everybody's underestimating this guy and realizing that the groups that uh, Khaled's in, they're not just hard because of the people he's against, they're hard because he's in it as well. He took TRK to five games, now he's got a game off Toxic. This guy can definitely still uh, qualify for playoffs in Salt Mine 3, maybe get on a run if he shows up uh, with a peak performance. That's a great point. Do you guys think Naupo bought a backup cable this time? Or do you think he just bought one again? Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm currently referring to, Naupo went to restart his internet after round one today, broke his ethernet cable, had to go buy a new one, and therefore missed round two of the competition. So <laughs> he had to forfeit round two because his ethernet cable broke. Um, <laughs> I wonder if when he went to buy a new one, did he buy two? Did he get a backup this time and make up for his previous mistake? Type one in chat if you think Naupo's got the intelligence, the in-game, no, sorry, the in-real-life mechanics to uh, to make that play happen. Why are you all writing two? <laughs> That's harsh. Why are you all writing two? I think, he, I think he's got a backup. I'm going to back him to have a backup. We'll have to ask him later on today. Oski with a double tap attempt. It's good. Tied the game. Did not give Zen any time to think about what to do with this play. Just directly for the backboard. And then clean placement underneath the free jump. Uh, Khaled just uh, checked in late for round one. He didn't actually... I don't think he told us the reason. He might have just uh, mixed up his time zones or something like that. Um... But he's here now for round two, three, and he's playing well. Oh my goodness, what a save by Zen. Oski's going to air roll shot straight at him, which Zen will control and counter. Oski's got boost to play with here, but Zen has too much speed and goes up by one. This is turning into a defensive masterclass by both players. What do you mean, why is Oski actually good at ones? Oski's been good at ones for a while. He's not the most active 1v1 participant, but... He's a very, very good natural uh, 1v1 player. I think all of the most mechanical players in the world are just naturally good at 1v1 these days because uh, 3v3 and 1v1 have kind of become more and more similar over the years when it comes to offense. Um, whereas back in the day, 1v1 offense was mostly ground game, 3v3 offense was mostly aerial game. Now they're both, uh, you know, extremely similar. So if you're extremely mechy in threes, it is going to translate. Uh, four two. Zen starting to get rolling here. Another shot on a net. Oski's not defending. Oski should be able to get one back here. Oh no, he takes his time. Missile. No, Zen too strong. What a 50-50. Now reverse dribbling the ball back into the boost. Zen going the other way with the air dribble. Oski intercepts it, but not a moment too late. Oski trying to delay and mess with the timing of Zen here. Not just trying to hit him with expected shots, but Zen has responded brilliantly. Closes it down. And goes up 5-2 now, just two minutes into the game. 
Khaled is up 2-0. Is he? Khaled is back, I see in chat. Did he win game two? Who, go, who won game two? Between Khaled and uh, Toxic. That's an interesting, really interesting match. Because Khaled could go, you know, grab his first win and put pressure on. Khaled won game two as well. Wow. Oski attempted floor double, just gets completely intercepted by Zen, who scores from distance. Probably an ill-advised floor double there from Oski. Not enough power on it. Uh, maybe a bit too high up in the air when he initially hit that one. Long way for the ball to travel. That leaves more time for Zen to intercept. Oski. Wanted the boost seal, couldn't get it, but Zen put himself out of position to defend that boost. Yeah, Zen really did commit hard for that boost grab. Oski threatened the steal, but still had control of the ball as well. Half the game to go, Oski very much in this one. And you know, despite... Oh no, Zen gets the boost. Well, that's incredible. Zen looked like he was a bit behind Oski on that play, but I think being higher, like we've said this many times over the years, I've yet to have like 100% confirmation from Psionics on the matter, but it really does look like being slightly above your opponent in the race to the boost gives you a head start in grabbing it, because Zen was over the top of Oski there, and even though it looked like he was slightly behind him, he did get the back corner boost, uh, or sorry, the mid boost after the kickoff. This is something we've seen pretty consistently over the years. Maybe the boost hit box is round. Any confirmation on that? Is the big boost hit box round and floating in the air, much like the visual? Or is it just on the ground and the server is tricking us? When I say the server is tricking us, of course I mean that sometimes you see something happen in your own game in Rocket League or in a game you're watching and it doesn't look like it's entirely accurate, uh, but that's usually because the server just disagrees with your computer's prediction for what happened. Um, like you, sometimes you have a ghost hit a car, that's because your computer, your your console, whatever you're playing on, predicted a touch and then the server says, nah, there was no touch. And uh, it corrects to um, just continue moving the ball on forwards. Solid defense in these exchanges by Zen. Not really giving Oski many openings. Now the fake will go through, but not on target. I think Oski got a piece of that one. Zen won't mind too much, he takes the ball back into his own half of the field. And it's just so hard to dispossess him in these kind of positions. Zen using aerial plays to waste so much time, but that's not going to waste much time. Oski did not respect that flick being on target, and it wasn't. And with a minute and three seconds to go, he's back within three goals. It's obviously been the kind of game that Zen wants when he plays Rocket League. He's had tons of control despite only having 30% of the field. Zen just continues to dribble the ball around in his half. This is something Drally did against Zen earlier today. Now Zen's using the same strategy against Oski. Oski's coming back though. Mind game on Zen from close range. This is getting a bit tricky for the Frenchman. Will he continue to play this controlled style in his own half? Oski's had the ball in Zen's half 71% of the game. That's an absurdly high percentage. It's only going up as the ball goes into Zen's half again. And it's gone into Zen's net again as well. Zen from four goals up, now just to one goal up with 47 seconds to go. And you know, whereas previously he had so much Control, now suddenly three goals in quick succession and he seemingly has no control. The ball's back in his half. It's all Oski. He's had the ball in Zen's half for three quarters of the game now. Floor pinch fails. Oski does have some time to work with here. Great respect. Oh my goodness, what a save by Oski. Just knowing that the shot was on there is incredible. Zen will try to supplement his lead with another aerial attack. He tries to air dribble bump. Oski doesn't land it, but Oski can't get the save. Oski went low to dodge the air dribble bump, but he jumped quite early there, so he didn't have a lot of upward momentum to really propel himself into the ball. Two goal gap again. Zen 
much more comfortable in this kind of position. Hanoski find an opening. He's going to have a chance here. Not a lot of boosts to play with. Air will shot on target. Zen saves. Boost seals here for Oski. He has to score. And Zen won't let him. Great challenge. Almost definitely winning the game there for Zen. Tying us up 1 1. Oski looking very good in the matchup, though. Even though he's zero series wins and two losses today, he does look good against Zen, and that really tells you all you need to know about this uh, this competition. It is unbelievably stacked as we go into another Game 3 all tied up. Look at that field control. 68% for Oski, even though Zen won the game. Zen was controlling the ball a lot in his own half. It was pretty even possession, even though it was all in Zen's half for most of the game. Um, can we take a quick look at the group standings, actually? Not the group standings, sorry, the matches. Uh, see if we've got any other results coming through. Uh, Vatira looks like he's taking the edge in the matchup against Naupo, he leads 2-1. So he he was just actually one overtime win away from sweeping Naupo there. Although all, all uh, game two and three have both been close. Nas 2-1 up on Drally. Uh, that that will blow this group wide open. It would mean everybody has at least one loss to their name if uh, Nas can win that one. And yeah, Khaled is currently still 2. Did he 3-0 Toxic? No way. Did Khaled actually just cook Toxic alive after... Toxic swept Moxie and Rawas. What is going on? <laughs> Group B. Did he actually? No way. That's not updated on the graph yet, but confirmed on the back end. Khaled has swept Toxic. Blowing Group B wide open. Group A is wide open already. And yeah, unfortunately for Atomic, he's been swept by Moxie. No, uh, you know, no fault of his own there. Moxie's pretty good at 1v1, I've heard. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to put the pressure on Atomic more than anything else, because I talked about this at the start of this round. Khaled and Atomic were the two guys who were both on a 0-2 and two series score going into this round. Now Khaled's got one win, um, so pressure on Atomic. He has to start getting some wins, or else he won't even be able to come back against Khaled with a win against him in the last round. Yeah, Khaled's overall series uh, game win loss is looking very good. That sweep on Toxic is massive. He's going to be minus one game win loss, whereas Atomic's minus seven game win loss. That's bad news. Yeah, if they, if they go into their final round, if um, if Atomic and Khaled go into round five and Khaled's got a series win and Atomic doesn't, and Khaled's game win loss differential is seven or more. That uh, it, well, seven or more better than Atomic's. Atomic will be eliminated before the round starts, just due to the. Uh, game win loss tiebreaker. It's just that's how it works. Atomic's got to start getting some game wins. Khaled is back. As for Zen, he's completely even in game win loss. He's won six games today, he's lost six games. Oski with a double reset. Saved by Zen. Zen with a quick counter in the air himself. This is tough to read, but Oski reads it. Ridiculous saves by these guys. Stopping some ridiculous attacking plays. I feel like in this series, it's been the saves that have been the highlight reel. It's not what we expected. Coming to this, we thought it was going to be the attacking plays. Again, another fantastic save by Oski. And he's been bumped into his own back. Corner boost there as a reward. Yeah, we thought it was going to be the clips in offense. It's actually the defensive clips between Zen and Oski that have stolen the show completely. Oski looking for another one. Oh, he nearly had the redirect there, Zen. Six around at the edge of the box in case he misses it, which he did. And pings the ball top bins. Not a lot of a run up there. Look at the power Zen's able to generate with very little run up. Just clangs it over Oski's head. This is still proving to be a very, very long day at the office for Zen today. If he goes to game five here, he'll have played the maximum amount of games in Salt Mine 3 for one day. That is, yeah, maximum amount of games, 15 games. So far, this is his uh, 13th game that he's played. He might be saying, hey, you know, not that big of a deal. I, I've played 13 games of Rocket League before. I, I sometimes play ranked for 20, 25 games, but playing 1v1 at this level is so intense and so stressful that 13 games probably feels like an entire split of RLCS. The 
pressure these guys have to endure, all for our entertainment, it really has to be respected. Zen dispossessing Oski early. Whereas last game he was playing in defense for most of the game. Now he's in attack for most of the game. He's switching things up here more to what we're used to seeing from Zen. Sidewall double. Zen pulls away from it. He can't get back to the ball though. Oski scores the second goal of the game from a Zen misplay. I mean, Zen trying to go for a very, very technical clear. But he didn't... Uh, didn't get the initial flick in the right direction. Oh, delayed kickoff by Zen. Nicely done. I love to see that. You know, you guys, if you watch my cast of Moxie vs Zen in uh, the first round of the tournament, I did mention I want to see more of this from Zen. Now he's doing it. So obviously, I'm going to give him credit when he does. He's still working on the weaknesses of his game, trying to become more hard to predict. Oski did not see that one coming. It's just an immediate goal for Zen from the delayed kickoff. Oski, not for the first time this series, using a pinch in midfield to buy himself some time. Zen's bumped him out of the way, though. This is open for Zen to run the ball into. <laughs> Both players on a collision course with the ball on the goal line. Debatably a smart play there from Oski. I mean, not even debatably, it's just quite literally a smart play. He's hit the ball in 0.01 seconds faster um, into his own net. It was guaranteed to be a goal anyway. But the fact that he's hit it in even more quickly gives him more time to come back with. So, smart play there by Oski, albeit minuscule. If we see a zero second goal from the ball bouncing up into the air, we'll have to think about that moment where Oski just uh, went 300 IQ and hit the ball to his own net from point blank range. Zen still looking good. One game two, now two up in game three. Got to keep chugging along though. Soski came back nearly four goals down in the last game. Where's that bounce going? Oski reads it a little bit faster than Zen does. Great pathing here from Zen, taking the ball away from Oski and also just avoiding driving in any, any dangerous areas. Zen with the wave dash, late flick on target. Oski didn't get the cleanest landing there as he goes inside his own net. Yes, his own crossbar here. This is getting very risky for Oski. He can't get the clear. Just didn't bounce far enough. Oski was trying to get more distance on that with a crossbar pinch and just went straight back into the middle of the box. And no problem for Oski. He can, of course, come back from these kind of positions. He's done it in the last game. And it looks like it's going to become a little bit more easy with a kickoff goal going his way. Still plenty time left for him to make this work. Nas beat Drally with a zero second goal. Was that game four? Nas and Toxic still, we've got to give them credit. They've really rebounded brilliantly from pretty unsuccessful uh, stage one to the competition. On day one of stage two, they've managed to pick up two wins each. And uh, yeah, they were only able to get one win each in stage one. So already an upgrade for them. Now Oski decides to play for the ground game. Interesting switch up there. Maybe reading a pre-jump by Zen. Oh, is Oski going for the ground game here? It's obviously less threatening than the long range air dribble, but if he thinks Zen's reading his long range air dribble, he might just go grounded and try to catch Zen pre-jumping. Uh, you know, the result is, is that goal for Zen, because Oski's over hit the touch and Zen didn't pre-jump. Real struggle for Oski today. We've got Atomic 0-3 in Group B. Oski could be ending the day. The only player in Group A on 0-3 scoreline. He's still got Drally, of course, to play. Oh, wow, what a save. You know, whether or not that's hitting the bar, Oski got an orange trail on it. After an extended air dribble bump dodge. I mean, we're going to credit it to him, of course. It's got to be called a save until we're absolutely sure. Regardless of whether or not it's hitting the bar, of course, he needs to get something on it. Zen continues to control the midfield, though. <laughs> not the perfect shot, but he's got the bump afterwards. 
Okay, Volsky recovers quickly though. That might actually be a relevant miss by Zen if Volsky can score here. He's really taking his time and he slots it. Well, and okay. That miss from Zen is currently relevant. So instead of having a four goal difference, we're at a two goal difference with 21 seconds to go. Will Zen regret that inside of the post shot? A kickoff goal would have him on the edge of his seat, no doubt. Zen has to watch out for the bump here. He does well. And this time he will not be seeing any kind of scares at the end of the game, it seems. Zen running down the remaining time with the ceiling shot. Oh, he caught it at the very last second with uh, some semblance of a pogo shot, actually. He was actually side on with his car, not the traditional nose down or back end of the car down. Just this little side on pogo shot there from Zen. Really sent the ball quickly at the net. It will be Zen on double match point. If he's going to game five for the third time today, Oski will need to be the player to come back from behind. If we're going to game five for the third time today on the main broadcast, then uh, yeah, we're going to need to see Oski produce something that we haven't really seen from him today. We need the consistent full game of brilliance from him. I don't think we've had a look at uh, any highlights yet, have we, for this round? We could do that right now before we get into the next game here. We're uh, one of the last streams to finish. Looks like four streams have finished already. Hope you guys, uh, we, we, we've probably, I don't think I mentioned it in any of these videos yet. Hope you guys like the, the Chalkcast logo. What do you guys think of the little blue microphone compared to the red microphone? Um, we might have to start varying up the chalk cast design this wasn't this was a entirely a salt mine 3 endeavor but we are looking pretty good if you ask me we uh we're still looking for guest suggestions by the way for chalk casts any salt mine 3 players that you would like to see on the show we're more than welcome all right you're more than welcome to suggest them on the chalk cast discord yeah we'd love to um interview people we've already had wavy on the show before salt mine started um yeah there's plenty more that we'd love to talk to uh, no, I don't. I don't actually know when the next shotcast is, so I'll let you know as soon as I do know. But uh, for the time being, I do not have an update for you regarding that. You know, Oski, the fierce competitor that he is, will not be happy with just being competitive against the best one one v one players in the world. He'll want wins. That's a really good recovery there by Oski to deny Zen's counter attack. He's got them under pressure. Got Zen under pressure for sure with these shots. A little bit of a pinch to the backboard to himself. Oski getting creative with the movement in the setup. Zen straight down the middle. Can't find the gap past Oski. Oski doing well to defend his back corner boost as well. Zen quickly up into the air. Immediate flip reset by Oski, but it's on it's gone into the bar. Been Mostly Oski possession at the start of this game. But still, we remain all tied up. Oski now giving away that crucial possession. Gets tripped up and concedes. He wasn't able to do too much with all the possession he had. And now, one mistake and it's in the back of his net. Who beat Zen? It was uh, Durali who beat Zen. Durali got him. Durali got him. Great series. Would recommend that you watch. Nice save there by Zen. He's using the inside of the post to gain some height on that save. I mean, Oski knew that he was there, but still couldn't really do too much to avoid it. Oski's still scoreless in this game. That's not changed yet. Zen producing a day full of brilliant season defense. And there's another one, but Oski's got the boost seal off the back of this. Pressure on Zen to do something about this. He's got no boost. Oski wants to reset double, and he gets it. Very elegant finish there from Oski. Zen first to compliment him in the quick chat as well. Flip reset, and then a pretty much guaranteed finish. 
to control a play from that range is much harder than it looks. Oski's done well to do it there. Nice fake kick off. Oski nets himself a possession in the back corner. Zen with a fake ceiling challenge. He's facing away from the play here. Tracking it the entire way. Oh, he nearly had the save. That would have been ridiculous. But he had too much momentum in the wrong direction. Oski's flick goes through. If, if Zen somehow stopped that in the goal line, it would have been insane. Oski trying to force us into the third game five in a row for the day. Zen would prefer to have this one finish in four. He's got to be careful here. Oski's actually got a bit of boost left over. Don't know if Zen will be reading that. Yeah, Oski had more than Zen thought. Really good job by Oski. He disguised his boost this entire time. He had 30, but he's using none of it as he approaches in the wall. Even when he jumped off the wall, he didn't use any. It's only when he got back down to the ground that he combined his wave dash with boost to get much more acceleration than Zen expected. That allowed him to set up an unstoppable flick. Zen thought about a wall shot first time. Instead, follows up with a second touch. Oh, a big hit to the backboard there by Zen, but Oski is equal to it. That boost is not yet spawned. Now it has. Zen maybe attacking a bit too early to that far side. The boost wasn't there to steal when he arrived. And that's what's really caused this attack to grind to a halt and allows Oski back into the midfield battle. And now allows Oski to turn over the possession completely with a double reset. It's Oski mind game. Bottom corner shot. 4-1. Yeah, good luck reading that one. Zen faked the challenge, jumped back onto the backboard, but Oski still approaching him with mind games while getting multiple resets on the ball. I mean, these aren't just random resets where he's trying to reset on the ball just for the sake of it. He's getting flip resets and thinking about how he's going to use every single one of them in the approaching play. Great boost management by Oski once again here, but he does have to back off all the way. That's not ideal. Here comes Zen from way inside his own half. Oski stops him dead. And as the attack ends, it's Oski again with the better position. Zen going for a lot of one try and done. Attacking sequences here. And they're not forcing Oski to land out of position out of boost enough. Zen, delayed air dribble, wants to land on Oski. He did, but the ball wasn't on target. Low 50, Oski drills himself back down into the ball. And Zen finds a way through, though. Oski really making the goal as small as possible, but Zen still spots the one opening there was. Fair play, though, to Oski. That was almost a crossbar pinch save, which could have gone anywhere. Minute and ten to go. Oski in control. Delayed kickoff from Zen. This time, Oski rolls with the ball, so it's not going to work out for Zen. He is back to stop the ceiling shot. Oski's stolen his boost away though. Zen in the final minute. Starting the attack from his own back corner. Oski forced to retreat. Zen with the air dribble bump. He gets it. Once again, in the tail end of a game, Zen is air dribble bumping and finding success. Completely shielding the ball there, even if Oski tried a different method of timing. It would be very, very difficult. Quick snapshot on the ground there from Oski. Zen was ready for it. And now here comes the counter. This could be scary. Air dribble bump again. And once again, it works. Oski was so close to getting this one. But Zen had enough height. Oski just flipped at the wrong time there. I think if he flipped a touch earlier, then he might have actually matrixed Zen as he was trying to bump him. Can Oski get back in front? The next player is his. And he wants an air dribble bump of his own! <laughs> and he fires back well. That felt personal for Oski. <laughs> oh, if this turns into an air dribble bump 1v1, I'm a happy man. Type 1 in chat if you want to see it. I know some of you guys don't enjoy watching this, but personally, I love it. There's no more scary attack in the closing stages of a game than the air dribble bump. 
And if somebody can pull out a save and win because of it, it's honestly the stuff of legends. Here comes Zen. Will he go for it again? No, he won't. It's going to be a shot. He got a demo somehow anyway, so I guess that's some kind of an irritable bump. But it was after the fact that the shot was wide. Zen still an attack. Into the air he goes. Is it going to be? Yes, it is. Another irritable bump. <laughs> and it's good. Oh, I don't believe it. Oski tried to wait, but he waited too long. Zen was way in front of the ball here, but Oski dove off the wall too low. You know, I think his strategy was the right one there. But Zen had him covered. Great job by the Frenchman. Equalizes with three seconds to go. Can Oski get this into the air? No, he can't. Straight spawn kickoff in OT. Zen can win it all right here. Delayed kickoff is good for him. Oski's got boost, but they're both on the wrong side of the ball. Oh, that's a massive demo by Oski. It's wide open for the time being, and he scores, of course, to send us into game five for the third time in the day. And it's a full physical ending to a thriller of a game four. We're playing, we're watching just about as many games, in fact, as many games as we could today. And Zen is playing as many games as he could today. That's his 14th game in a row. Now he's going to go into his 15th game in a row. And Oski's not far behind him. Oski's about to go into his 14th game in a row, so it's very close, actually. These guys have played a ton of Rocket League today. No sweeps, either with, for or against them. But well played by Oski to hold on at the end there and spot the opening for the demo. Possession and field control both in favor of the pole there. Boost consumption way in Zen's favor, so he's definitely had enough boost at his disposal there. I think, you know, if we're talking about who used the boost... More effectively in that game, though, I would probably say Oski. There was a few times where he managed his boost really well um, to catch Zen off guard. Let's take a look at some more highlights here. We uh, we don't have any more confirmed results. Obviously, we've already confirmed Nas and Vatira, Moxie, and Khaled have won their series, but I can confirm for you guys that Rawas currently leads 2-1 against TRK. Um, he's looking to get revenge for the Sage 1 defeat. That's uh, TRK hand it to him. Alright, game five. Zen versus Oski. Can Oski get a win on the board and completely blow the group wide open or will it be Zen? Joining Nas and Dralian at the top of the standings. Early on, it is Oski with a wall shot to give himself the advantage. Yeah, right now in Group A, Nas, Drally, and Vatira all have um, two series wins and one loss. If Zen wins this series, he's going to join them. We'll have a four-way tie for first place at the end of day one with uh, two more rounds left to play. Oh, big miss there by Oski. Top corner was open. Yeah, if Oski can win this, we've got a three-way tie for first and a three-way tie for um, for last in this group. So just, yeah, more more ties, more three-way ties in Salt Mine 3. It's kind of what we do here. Yeah, hopefully uh, we don't get another Vatira situation. Initial seed uh, tiebreaker. Although I think you know, now, now that the uh, positions of Stage 1 have been established, that they are, of course, being used to determine initial seed. I doubt people are going to be too upset um, compared to stage one where it was entirely pre-event seeding. Well, Zen's picking up right where he left off. Another air dribble bump. And this is so smart for him because it was working every time in game four. Why switch it up if it's still working every time? Really smart play by Zen. You know, honestly, it was working for Oski as well. So it would be smart for him to keep doing it as well. I think both players are having success as well as struggling to deal with Physical plays. Great speed by Zen there. Genoski almost getting a save from an impossible position. Zen just too quick with the shot, too powerful with the hit. Zen trying to make it three. Early reset. He's going back down to the ground though. I think players are getting much, much better at reading these. So once a player loses vertical momentum when you start falling even if you've got a flip reset it's quite hard to get lift on the ball and it is going to be a demo for Oski both players in fact picking up where they left off with air double bumps and demos 
Good prediction there by Oski, swerving high up on the wall actually to go for the demo. As he just predicted Zen jumping onto the wall. Yeah, can Zen find another way through? Straight shot to the top corners. It wasn't on target, but Oski still got to it anyway. Zed delaying his air dribble. Oski's read that one as well, but boost has run out for him. He's on the small pad grind as we speak. And Zen's got him in a very tough position. And Oski can't save those. His goalkeeping's been phenomenal today, but these shots from Zen in this last game are absolutely perfect. Frenchman leads once again. Great first touch by Zen, no threat. As he takes the ball across his own box. Fakes the flick and sets up the boost seal, but no boost seal for him. Has to turn early. Zen being very cautious with his approach in this game. That's a very early pre-jump by Oski. Zen decides to go for the flip reset and it works wonderfully. That's a ridiculous shot by Zen. Oski was pre-jumping in front of him. Most players when that happens would not want to go for more touches of the ball. Zen says, no problem. I'm just going to get a reset and then take the ball past you with a continued air dribble no less. Crazy control by Zen. Saw the fake kickoff there late, but still fast enough to react to it. It's Zen next up on the play. Another lean back reset by him. This time, no immediate usage of the flip and no immediate usage of the follow up. It's Zen bunny hopping on the approach. Completely faking out Oski, just gaining ground for free and then 50 50 it under him from point blank range. I mean, Oski's obviously pretty scared about the flip reset after the last goal he conceded. Zen used that to his advantage to completely counter him on that play. Still time for Oski. Another comeback needed. And the comeback has started without too much delay. These guys have been very kind to each other with their compliments in this matchup. I think they've been very impressed with each other's shot selection and their execution as well. Zen expecting a high shot there. You can see that he turned up on the wall, but Oski just shot it low right past him. Plenty of time for the pull. And this play should be his. No, Zen beats him to the ball again. Beats him to the boost, I should say. So close for Oski, but so far. Follow through flick. Shut down by Oski, though. Early flick there by Oski. Zen's fake challenge baited that, but that's still wise. Oh, wow. Zen almost sets up Oski, but he had the immediate recovery to close the door on the chance. Still, that was a bit of a hairy situation for Zen. And this is even more so. Oski's within one. Well, a quick blip for Zen in defense allowed Oski to get right back into the play. And that's a heavy ground shot to boom in. Another goal to make it a one goal difference. This is every bit as close as we hoped it would be. Zen's first ever match against Rally and Zen's first ever match against Oski. Two of the best players who have yet to play him before today are both delivering. This is really, I think, a great showing for Oski in particular. He's still a bit of an unknown entity when it comes to 1v1 for a lot of the fans around the world. Then, of course, everybody knows what he's about these days. Nice defense by Oski, respecting the pinch, which was good for Zen there. Zen up in the air early. Too early for Oski to outplay. Zen wins the race to the mid boost as well. This is awkward for Oski, but he's going to stick around on the ball. He's trying to make a zero boost play work. Honestly, not a bad effort with uh, no boost there. Doesn't get him a goal, but it gets him back into the position with 100 boost. It's been demoed though. Here comes Zen. Fake challenge from Oski, not convincing enough. Zen pings it top ins. Perfect half volley technique on the bounce dribble from Zen. Waited for the bounce. Gets under the ball with the side flip. And absolutely sends it into the top corner. Minute and four seconds to go. I have confirmation coming through that Rawas has avenged his right stage one loss to TRK. He's won that one. 
Fantastic save by Oski here. Zen steals the boost from right under his nose, though. Can he make this even more difficult for Oski? Not yet. Oski's surviving. Now Zen's actually ran out of boost. He's going to need to go to mid. Oski tried to pinch it. Went a bit too high for him. He doesn't need to panic just yet, but he will if Zen can get another goal. Look at this possession play by Zen. He's baiting Oski in. Oski has to be so careful here. Zen wants him to challenge at a bad time. He wants to catch him out of position at a bad time, but Oski escapes the demo. Scores a fifth time. Zen thought he was the hunter, but he's overextended. Missed all the bumps. And Oski is right back in striking distance. 21 seconds to go. Will we have Game 5 OT? We've not yet had one today, despite both the Game 5s we've seen. Oski's got a good chance to make it so here. It's a t very technically difficult air dribble, but Zen backs off initially. Heavy hit, though, by Oski. Tries to bump Zen out of position, which he does. Wants to catch him out of position now. He might have the demo on. He's got it. Oski, oh, he missed the infield dribble. He has to now go for the zero-second play, which he can. But Zen is back. And that's going to be a very difficult Zen to outplay from this kind of position. Oski still with a chance. Early flick. Zen's fake worked. But Oski still got control. This could be in the air again. Oski flicking it over Zen's head multiple times. But Zen is surviving multiple times. And he does enough. What an exchange on zero seconds. Zen holds on. But wow, Oski was so, so close. After that demo, if he clipped the ball into the middle, it was going to be an open net for him. Unbelievable series, but for all of his efforts, Oski's going to fall to 0-3 on the day. Reverse swept by Naupo, and now a Game 5 loss to Zen. I mean, these are so, so close for Oski. Um, but yeah, he's on the wrong end of both series. He's still got Drally and Nas to play, so it doesn't get a lot easier for Oski. But I think looking at what he's done today, he's definitely still in this. He might be 0-3, but I think he can still make the playoff run. Um, Drally and Nas... We're going to need to be careful um, tomorrow when they play him. Yeah, here's the current standings with Oski um, at 0 and 3, Atomic at 0 and 3 in Group B as well. They need to, you know, really produce the goods tomorrow or else they're going to be out um, of playoff contention, maybe sent to the relegation uh, tournament. We've got Naupo and Khaled on 1 2, and then everybody else on 2 1. So kind of crazy, actually, how everybody's ended up on 2 1 here after one day. Still two rounds to play tomorrow for the EU group stage. Um, but that's it from EU today. We're going to be switching over to North America. Um, and we're actually, again, because we keep going to five games, we're late. So we're going to go to break. When we're back, North America starting. Saltmine 3 uh, has three more rounds to go today. Uh, so join us after the break for First Killer versus Diaz. You're not going to want to miss this one.